Good evening and welcome to 6 1. Ibrahim Halawa, the 21 year old Irish citizen imprisoned in Egypt for the last four years, has been acquitted by a court in Cairo and is expected home within days. His three sisters, who were tried in their absence, have also been acquitted. Ibrahim Halawa was arrested in 2013 for taking part in a protest against the ousting of Egypt's then president. Speaking at their Dublin home today, the Halawa family said they were relieved and delighted that the ordeal had finally come to an end. Hugs, shouts and tears outside the home of the Halawas in Dublin this afternoon as the news sank in that Ibrahim Halawa had been acquitted. Uh, it's the best news ever. You know, we have been here, we've heard since four years ago. Um, it's the first time actually we can smile deeply from our heart and we can really, you know, scream and, and, and cry and, 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 and laugh at the same time. It's amazing to, to finally hear the news and, you know, it feels so surreal as well that, you know, we're finally coming to an end and Ibrahim will be home soon. It's four years since these protests in Egypt against the ousting of then-President Mohamed Morsi. Among those who took part, then 17-year-old Dubliner Ibrahim Malawa and his sisters. When violent clashes erupted, they took refuge in a mosque, but they became trapped there. They have us surrounded in a mosque to kill us. This is not fair. This is not humanity that we're living for. This is not we're back in Ireland what we want. Back in Ireland, a dog has more freedom than we have here. When the military stormed the mosque, Ibrahim was among those taken away, along with his sisters, Samaya, Omaima and Fatima. Almost three months later, his sisters were released. Ibrahim was not. Put on trial with over 490 others, he was among those charged with offences carrying sentences, including the death penalty. In 2015, the Egyptian president promised he would allow Ibrahim home once the trial finished. From Fairhouse in Dublin, he was born in 1995. He went to Holy Rosary Primary School, then Rockbrook Park Secondary. His father is Imam of Dublin's Klonski Mosque and has represented Muslims here. Despite suggestions, Hussein Halawa denies any connections to the Muslim Brotherhood, declared a terrorist organisation by Egypt. Ibrahim's family and supporters have continued to call for his freedom. They spent the past four years taking part in demonstrations, vigils and celebrating milestones in his life without him. Uh, Ibrahim is the youngest, the baby of the family is missing. It's very hard to say everything is okay when it's not. They took his case to Europe, where MEPs voted for a resolution calling for his release. The Department of Foreign Affairs says the government consistently made the strongest possible representations for his immediate release and he had over 60 consular visits. Today, after four years and over 30 adjournments in the trial, this verdict. Ibrahim Hussein Mohammed Halawa. Ibrahim Halawa acquitted of all charges, his three sisters also acquitted. His family say they're really looking forward to him coming home, but he's missed a lot in the last four years. People have graduated, they're in their first jobs, you know, some have gotten married, some have found their first love. You know, so on a personal level, Ibrahim has missed all out on that. On family level, he's missed out on a lot. You know, we've had four, four nieces and nephews born into the family. You know, so it's just, um, there's been so much. My sisters have gotten and married. It was a very hard and long journey. My brother got there and he was just a child and he's coming out as a man. I'm afraid what he's going to feel when he comes out. They say they hope he will be home in the coming days. Helen Donoghue, RTE News. The president, politicians and human rights groups have welcomed the acquittal. The Taoiseach Leo Varadkar said the government would facilitate Mr Halawa's return home at the earliest opportunity. They will be assisting uh, the family and the Egyptian authorities uh, to enable his uh, return to Ireland. I would anticipate that it'll just be a matter of days, uh, but we don't know that for sure. But obviously, um, our, our consular people, our embassy staff on the ground, will work with uh, both him and the Egyptian authorities to enable him to come home uh, as soon as possible. It has been found innocent. I welcome the fact that justice has been, go been done, but justice has been delayed, and justice delayed sometimes can be justice denied. And I think really what I want to see now is that without any undue uh, further delay, that Ibrahim is, uh, can come home. 
I can't imagine. I really can't imagine what's going through his head or how long it's going to take him to really recover from this experience. Because, I mean, just think of what you were doing when you were 17. I know when I was 17, I, there was no way I'd be ready for something like what he's been through. And I think he's shown great strength uh, throughout the, the entire sentence. I look, we're all overwhelmed with joy for Ibrahim and his family, especially his sisters who just never gave up on their brother. They campaigned tirelessly, they were inspirational, so we're delighted for them. Obviously, it's four years he's been acquitted of everything, so there's a part of you that can be angry as well as that, that that's four years wasted. But look, today is a good day, a great day for Ibrahim, a great day for his family, and we just want to get him home as quick as possible now. Well, Declan Walsh, the Cairo Bureau Chief for the New York Times, was in court for the verdict. He described the scenes of elation. Absolutely, yeah. It was a very emotional moment. I mean, we couldn't hear him because he was behind a screen. There was a large glass wall where all the prisoners were being kept and also a metal bar. But even with that, you could see him. He came up to the, he came up to the wall. He gestured with the Irish ambassador and the other diplomats who were there. And he was jumping up and down. He was uh, grabbing the people around him, hugging them. And when he came close to the window, I could see that he appeared to have tears in his eyes. He certainly appeared very overcome by the moment. And was there some suggestion that he, this came as a surprise, that this wasn't the verdict he had been expecting? Well, this whole process has been so opaque and so difficult to predict for everybody involved that I think certainly the diplomats who were there were preparing for the worst. They were preparing for the fact that he might get a heavy custodial sentence, in which case they would have been going straight to President Sisi to, to pressure him to deliver on his promise to pardon Ibrahim Halawa. So there was really a sense people were bracing for the worst. And when the moment came where Ibrahim Halawa and, of course, his sisters were acquitted of all charges. There was absolute disbelief, I think, on the on the faces of some of the people who were around me, including the Irish diplomats and Ibrahim Malawi himself. You know, exploded with joy inside the defendant's dock. And the big question now is when we can expect to see him home. What what's the the sequence of events now? Normally, it takes at least two or three days for a prisoner in the Egyptian system, even when acquitted, uh, to be processed and released. Um, Irish officials, I think, are going to be working very hard to ensure that happens as soon as as possible. And um, their main worry at this point is that if this pro if this verdict is sucked, if you like, back into an appeals process. That might delay his delay uh, further, perhaps for even a very long time. So I think they're going to be working very hard to make sure that he gets out uh, this week in a matter of days. And they'll be looking to put him on a plane back to Ireland as quickly as possible. OK, Declan Walsh of The New York Times, thank you. Ryanair